Frank Lloyd Wright remains one of the most prolific and renowned architects of the 20th century. Now New York's Museum of Modern Art is delving deep into his catalog of work in a new exhibition, Frank Lloyd Wright at 150, Unpacking the Archive. And there's certainly a lot to unpack as Jade Barker's been finding out. In a career spanning seven decades, he designed over 1,000 buildings and realized over 500. Among those works, the Guggenheim Museum and Falling Water, iconic buildings that partly helped Frank Lloyd Wright be considered by many the original architect. Throughout his career, Wright kept a meticulous archive of his sketches, models and more, a collection that the New York Museum of Modern Art, along with Columbia University, acquired in 2012. Now on the 150th anniversary of his birth, the MoMA is lifting the lid on this archive and hoping to show a different side to the architect along the way. There have been many, many retrospectives of Frank Lloyd Wright over the years and they all take us predictably through his long and evolving and episodic career. So we felt that there was no need to do that. This is probably the only architect if we would have take our interview out onto the street and say to the first person we met, name an architect, they would probably say Frank Lloyd Wright. So everyone knows the name. Many people even have some idea of at least the beginning of the career, the prairie houses and the like. So we decided to create what I call a uh, anti-retrospective. Structured as an anthology rather than a comprehensive presentation of Wright's work, the exhibition is divided into 12 sections, from his well-documented experiments in ornament, structure and building systems, to his relatively unknown research in urbanism and farming. Organizer Barry Bergdahl, the museum's creator of architecture and design, along with researcher Jennifer Gray, asked various scholars to delve into the archive, interpreting and contextualizing Wright's work. The assembly is, we hope, very unexpected. So people who come to the Frank Lloyd Wright exhibition, they might have some sense of what they're going to encounter here, going to encounter something different. And we hope that that is both unsettling but also enthralling. This incredibly complicated figure, sometimes incredibly contradictory. Uh, we don't try to smooth out the edges and make it into one nice, neat story. We try to explore exactly those contradictions that make him so fascinating because he deals with the contradictions of our culture and of the past hundred years uh, in ways that are very, very, uh, what should I say, very illuminating. What will likely not come as a surprise to visitors is the scale of Wright's ambitions. Like his groundbreaking plans to build these unprecedented skyscrapers, Wright was unafraid to aim high. The exhibition also explores how he was unafraid to embrace publicity to secure his place in history. Wright was one of the first architects to successfully exploit media fame from featuring on the cover of Time magazine in 1938 to several appearances on television shows. Bergdahl not only oversaw the exhibition, he also contributed to one of the sections. For him, Wright's plan to build a mile-high building, the tallest ever conceived, called for unpacking. But I think in the end, we have to accept the fact that it is primarily an enormous publicity stunt. It's an attempt to grab media attention. He's in his 80s. The media is gearing up. It's paying ever more attention to architecture. There's a building boom in Chicago, which is Wright's adopted hometown. That building boom is being led by the German emigre architect Mies van der Rohe. And I think Wright wants to simultaneously exercise his rivalry with that. He wants to take back the headlines and the limelight. Uh, he wants to attract so much publicity attention that he will be remembered after he's gone. There's no doubt the groundbreaking architect will continue shining bright for many years to come. But through almost 400 works, many of them never displayed publicly, the MoMA also hopes to show that his long career was richer and more complex than many may realize, and is open to interpretations. Jade Barker, TRT World, New York.